Andor has a lot of cool world building moments and the usage of Orabesh, the Star Wars alphabet, is part of that. Today I'm translating all the Orabesh I could find in episodes 1 to 11 of Andor. Let's get into it. So first we have this shot. Unfortunately, because the quality on Disney Plus is so potato, it is almost impossible to see what is written. I can tell some individual letters here and there, and the only complete word I can tell is here. This is what it spells in Orabesh, and it means Ferrix, which is of course the planet Andor lived on with his mom. Next up we have this shot, and to see what is written we first have to mirror the image. There's a bunch of small things written around here, but those are just a letter and two numbers. The longer text here is partly covered up, but this is what I can get from it, and it reads off attack. Then we have this sign that says screens. Then we have this sign that says droid parts. And in this shot we have the same droid parts sign from the other direction. And then this sign that says service. In this shot we can only see part of the sign and it reads repair. But I think we can assume that the full sign reads repair. And in this shot where Dika is eating his blue noodles, I really wanted to know what it says on the box. But the only letters I can decipher are these and they read as mug. Then we have this, which I don't need to translate since the show does that for us, but I did read through the text and can confirm that it is accurate. This sign right here I would love to be able to read, but I can only barely see the first four letters which translate to Wawa, so I think I might have gotten something wrong there. And it's so annoying too because it's like you can almost see what it says, but not quite. And the lower letters are not Orabesh. By the way, if you can get better quality freeze frames of any of these shots, then let me know. Then we have this screen, and first it says insert credits. And after Tim does that, the text changes to comlink, and then something that starts with T and ends with T. And this screen is another really frustrating one. I tried really hard to get a clear enough picture to be able to read this one, but I can really only for sure see the first word, which translates to wanted. Then we have some letters on the binoculars, which translate to extra. And next up is another sign, and this one translates to Xenwons. And this is the sign for the Xenwon Fright business. And this transport ship also has some Orabesh on it, but it's too blurry for me to be able to read it. Then this droid has two letters on it, which translate to either X or M, but I'm not entirely sure. Next up we have the text above the ramp of the dropship. And this one I actually read as I was watching the show, and the text here translates to caution. And then we have some more signs, this one translates to Ray, but it's missing one letter at the beginning, and I'm guessing that missing letter is probably an F. And the sign on the left translates to GVO. And there's some other text here too, but I can't even tell if it's Orabesh or some other alphabet. In the same scene there's another sign in Orabesh, but again the quality is too potato to be able to read it. And here we have this text, where some letters look a bit weird, but I'm pretty sure it's at least supposed to say Coruscant. And the line underneath it says Core World, but the last line I can't tell the letters. Then we get to this shot on Coruscant, and we can see a lot of text here, but unfortunately it's too bad quality to be able to tell anything more than a couple of standalone letters. This text is actually pretty good, and the upper one starts with Descent, but I can't tell what the rest is, and the lower text says Carison Aldani. There's another shot with this data pad, and the text here says Aldani phrases, and above we can also see the alphabet that the Aldani people use. There are some symbols on this blaster, but I can't even really tell if it's Orbesh or not. It kind of looks like it could be, but I'm not entirely sure. Then Skeen Tattoo has two letters, K and H. And now back to Coruscant, where we have this text. I had to fill in a bit of the gap, but I'm pretty sure it says, Please mind the blast doors are closing. This sign first says, Tasty Pisos. And Pisos are apparently some sort of steam pills. And the woman that Cassian was with on Yamos asked him to get more Pisos. Don't forget the Pisos! But other than that, we have never heard of them before. This sign then says carry your chain code and the lower text says from the ISB. This is a pretty cool sign when it comes to world building. As we know from Bad Batch, after the fall of the Republic, all citizens of the Empire had to have their own chain code. And in this shot there is a sign that reads Kaleen, and this makes sense since this sign is in the Kaleen Salyard. Then we have the data plaques from the sentencing. The first one says name Richard Stevenson. Then it says crime, 
failure to follow imperial command, anti-imperial vandalism, and on the bottom it says sentence 5 years. And then the second data plaque, and first it says name, Keith Seymour, and then it says crime, suspected force sensitivity and assaulting an imperial officer, and in the last part it says sentence 25 years. So as you might have noticed, these data plaques don't match up what's being actually said in the scene, and instead they're used for easter egg mentions for people that have worked on Andor. Honestly, I don't know how to feel about this. At the same time, yes, it's a fun easter egg, I suppose, but it is also inaccurate. We have this screen here, but unfortunately it's too small to tell what it says. Then we have a bit of Orabesh in the prison, first on this screen. But this is a bit strange because the letters are sometimes mirrored and or upside down and I couldn't really decipher it. But then on this screen we have a text that says shift and one that says weak. And here we have another sign that at least has a little bit of Orabesh, but I can only tell for sure that there's an A in there. But a bit later in the same scene there's a sign that says you must carry chain code. And this is again relating to the chain codes that Empire put in order. On this screen we have a text that says Tanned, and the other text says Rign of Caffrine. But I'm pretty sure it's a spelling mistake and it's supposed to say Ring of Catherine. It's one of the locations we visit in Rogue One and it happens to be located in the Tanned sector. And then we have this and the text here says Control it. So desperate because it's so unnatural. Tyranny. And this is part of the thing that Nemec was writing. And lastly we have some screens on Luton's ship. Up in the left corner the text says PRT norm. And up in the right corner it says STB norm and under that the text says beacon arm. Lowest text on the right says SB edge norm and the text on the bottom left says PRT edge boost. And lastly this screen here has a text that says TRKB and then the letters for X, Y and Z so I assume it's showing coordinates. And that is everything that I could find. If there's something I missed let me know in the comments. And if you're interested in learning more about Orabesh, then I will link my playlist in the description. Or if you want my best tips on how to learn Orabesh quickly, then here is a video just for you. And I hope I will see you again, but for now, bye bye.